one thing I learned about crappie fishing. You catch them shallower in the evening or early morning. In the middle of the day, they tend to go out to a little deeper water. So we've been catching some fish in there. So I just drilled some holes all the way out here and man, bam, nice crappie. So we're gonna mess around. I've got a few more holes out in the, in the basin out here. So I'll see if we can find a few more of these scattered crappie. And usually in the evening they, they move back in towards the shallows. So for a good tip to catch crappies, deeper and during the middle of the day, shallower during the evenings. That's my best bet. And your best bet. All right. Forage minnow just got a single hook on it. So I can put a waxy on it or a minnow head or a small grub on it. And, and the one with a treble hook, I like to put your larva, one on each hook. And then that's one of my favorite perch ones too. And I do get some bluegills on it too. But as far as for crappies, I like the single hook, uh, the spoon, you know, it just flutters. And I mean, it's one of my favorites forever. And all the new baits and stuff that come out, they stay with them same colors too, that green, that, that green glow. And especially in dirty water now. See, I had a bite already on that. And I always bend the hook out a little bit. And I know they make a smaller one than this. And if I go to bluegills, I'll take a couple of Euro larvas. You know, sometimes a pink one works best. And it depends on the water. The water color here is stained. So glow, and I always, my old saying, if it don't glow, I don't go, you know? And as you see, it's caught all the bigger crappies today on this hook right here. And tip it with a little waxy, and it just kind of helps. And then you'll catch more sunfish if you're using a little waxy, of course. Of course. <laughs> That's what I do, I put that baby right on her head first. And just run it right on like that, see? And you can see that's how I do it. That's all there is to it. Tied directly on. Light mine. Probably four pound test, most likely. I sometimes use six if the water's stained. Sometimes you don't need a real light mine. Depends how the bite is. Bluegills. Sometimes it's the best. Get it down there and, and the electronics that tells you what's down there. No guesswork. Like we said a little while ago about moving around a little bit. When those crappies aren't there, they ain't there. So I got the old auger and I decided to kind of take a little trip across the lake. And then we got two. This was a little nicer than the last one, see? So there's, and usually in the evening, they'll start moving back in, but we've got a lot of water out here. And this little orange minnow, I'll tell you what, this is still one of my favorite little jigs right here. Put a little waxy on, that's a dandy. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go, now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleye. Look at that right there. <laughs>